In this video we're going to talk about how to add overhead and profit to one item. You can use the same technique to add it to just a few items after an estimate's created. So you had to sub something out or add O&P to one or two items. Real simple. You can see here I have no overhead and profit in the estimate at this point. I'm going to go over to estimate items, click on that tab, and I'm just going to click on any room in the grouping tree and hit control A and that'll select all of the items or all of the rooms. Now I'm going to click on one of the items and hit control A again. Now I've selected every item in my estimate at this point. So I'm going to click on global changes wizard right here, button right in the middle of the screen. Make changes to. You see we've got several selections here. Obviously to change O and P I'm going to make sure I select that one. Categories all. And I'm just going to click right here, non-ONP, about dead center. Make sure that all of these items are not going to have ONP applied to them. Just click OK down the bottom. See the system running through all the items, marking them all as non-ONP. At this moment, this is not going to change my estimate a bit. Now I'm going to go back to Claim Info, click on Parameters, and I'm going to add O&P to my estimate. In this case, I'll go 10 and 10. And now just go over to Estimate Items, and let's just say I wanted that item over here in main level. Uh, pick something crazy. 1,000 square feet of pressure wash. And you'll see, I, I can look in here just to confirm in the Price button, you'll see O&P is applied to that item, so I just click OK. And now the lot, that one line item is going to have O&P associated with it. So if I go look at my estimate, click on View. You can see now that I've got O&P applied to that one line item and not the rest of the items in the estimate. Hopefully this helps. Any questions, email me at chris at topadjuster.com. be more than happy to help you.